everybody, how's it going? Marcos Viegas for Fight Up TV, powered by Stage Run VIP, being joined with Big John Fury, who's sporting uh, the, the, the new look right here. I keep changing up and down. It's something about years ago and I brought it back into play. It reminds me of like the Hulk Hogan look. Well, he's a finer man than me. <laughs> hey, John, man, what's been going on, bro? I've been seeing you all over the place, causing all sorts of ruckus. Um, like I say, I'm having an Indian summer. You know, two superstars in one family. All focus on Saturday night with a big fella. As you can see, he's on fire. And you know, I mean, I'm just enjoying every minute of it, you know, getting involved, doing what I can to help the promotions. But hats off to Saudi Arabia. You know, the best promotion in the world, this. I have never seen a promotion like this ever. And I've been in this game all my life. This is the best of the best. You know, Al Turkey, everybody involved. Incredible, magical is the word. And you can only enjoy it. But enjoy the big fella while he's here, because again, magical, you know, and at the end of the day, he's not going to round forever now. So, as you can see, a class on his own out there, isn't he? I got to ask you, uh, John, is there any sort of pressure on Tyson, seeing that he's fighting in the MMA champion and he's representing boxing, to get nothing but a knockout in this fight? Well, no, because everybody, everybody's fought in the past brings what Nganu brings, power. Every heavyweight can punch. If I get you on the chin now at 20 stone, you'll feel it. But that's what we're training for, to avoid them big shots. It's and not be it. That's the game here. You know, and at the end of the day, what you're seeing there with Tyson ain't all he can do either. I'll be lucky if Angano can even get anywhere near him. You know, he just hasn't got the skill. And this game is about levels and skill set. And I don't, that nothing against Francis Angano. He just hasn't got the skill set in a boxing match to mess with this man, especially in a boxing debut. Come on. Yeah. And I would imagine, I know a lot of people are, are asking, but Tyson took this serious, right? He's not looking at it like, oh, I, I don't even have to train to be able to beat this guy. Absolutely. Yeah. He's not left a stone unturned, 12-week camp. He's probably trained for Ngannou more than anybody because he knows he's going to bring strength, he's going to bring something different, and you've got to prepare for different. And that's what we're looking at here. Tyson's as fit in it as as he's ever been in his life, you know. So at the end of the day, I have no qualms at all, nothing. I'm just expecting a good night, you know, an easy win for Tyson, because Tyson's box his head off. Yeah. And when he comes in, unless I've been watching Tudor and guys, like I said, I've said it before, you never know when it's under the lights, but you're messing with the real deal in Tyson here. He's seen it all before. He knows what to expect. He knows what to bring, power. And what does he do? train to avoid power and land his own power that's what it's about speaking of the future the Usyk uh, fight is signed uh, the date they're saying December 23rd but I want to get your thoughts based on how Tyson looks now and going into that fight do you see it happening in December or do you think there has to be a little bit more time for it it all depends on how it goes Saturday night like if Tyson's gonna break both his arms on Nganu to stop him he will do so you can never look that far. You can't look past the night you're on. Yeah. We're not looking past Saturday night. If he has a, if he has an easy ride, fair enough. But we're expecting Ngan to bring something for his people, yeah. the African people, where he's from, the Cameroon people. And he's not going to go down easy. So Tyson, he may, he may suffer broken hands, you don't know. You never know what's happening in a brawl like this, but he ain't going to pull no punches. And if his hand goes in the fight, how can the 23rd take place? But let's put, let's say this much. If everything goes to plan, like I think it will, the 23rd of December won't be a problem. No. And given how he looks now and he'll have more time in camp, how do you see him and Usyk going? Any more time. Tyson can fight tomorrow. He can defend all them titles tomorrow. You know, and at the end of the day, he works. He has a couple of weeks off. And I, I think the inactivity could go against Tyson. So with it being so quick, I think it works in Tyson's favour again. He'll stay sharp, you know, because it's only going in his favour. But it all depends on what happens Saturday night. We're not looking past that. i got a few more for you, uh, John. Uh, they're saying Wilder and uh, Joshua on the undercard of this Fury Usyk fight with your son. Do you see that happening? No, no, no they're nothing to do with our network, them. Yeah. And uh, like Tyson said before, <laughs> what <laughs> what he said before, he means, you know, let them do their own thing, let them do their own promotions. Yeah. You know, if they want them on the bill, the big GK won't be on it. 
you know, because at the end of the day, they've done us no favours. We've given them everything they've asked for. They've tried to make us look bad. They've tried to make us look silly. Yeah. But we're at the top of the tree now. That guy there, he's the, all roads lead to him and they'll do exactly what he says. But for my money, that won't happen. Well, no. Even if it's a lot of money, it's out of a respect thing. How much money do you need in life? Yeah. He's got tons of money, he'll never spend what he's got. It's about principle now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And gypsy people like we are, we're big on principle. You know, and at the end of the day, they should have took what was on the table and fell in line and accepted the position they was in. A losing position. And beggars can't be choosers. And they're beggars. That's all I'm going to say about that lot. But will he ever fight on the same bill as Tyson? No. My last one for you, uh, we just saw Tommy fight, uh, yeah. I want to say, a week and a half ago. Just overall, your assessment, and do you want him to keep having the influencer fights? Listen, it's bringing new eyes and new audiences. They're bringing small children, wives and wives there. They're bringing the grandmas there, the grandpas there. It's enjoyable for everybody. But styles make fights, and if a man comes like he did and didn't want to fight anyway, you know, and all he's doing is jumping up and down and holding, what can you do? You know, there's a man here trained to box properly, but if they don't want to do that, but he couldn't do any other because he would have got panned. You know, but at the end of the day, he did what he had to do. He got to see the final bell. But, you know, at the end of the day, Tommy's in a different league to them kind of men. But how can you replicate that? What do you want to do? Go into a place where somebody don't want to fight? Yeah. That man, he didn't. He had no fight in him at all. His job was to steal a shot and hold and make him look bad. That's what he did. But I know what we've got with Tommy. Yeah. He'll keep doing his thing. Don't yeah. worry about Tommy. You see him now transition to contender status and fight, you know, on the, on the cards of Tyson. Yeah, why not? You know, and at the end of the day, the two big names, they bring a lot to the table in the way of uh, pay-per-views and audiences, so I don't see why not. You know, and at the end of the day, those who think they can beat Tommy Easy, yeah. let them come and try it. We're here. We're not going to run anywhere. You know, at the end of the day, in all those rematches, <laughs> we're here. You know what I'm saying? And it only makes Tommy a better fighter. Because he's only a novice himself. He's had ten fights. Hardly any amateur career at all. Over, over five years. Some people can have ten fights in the first 18 months. He's been a pro since 18. You know, so at the end of the day, he's learning on the job, but these fights make a better fighter of him because they bring unexpected stuff. And my final one, uh, you know, you, you got a lot of credit in the U.S. for predicting yeah. fights accurately. I, I spoke to you about uh, Tanka and Ryan. You got it right on the dot, and people have told me, like, no, John gets it right a lot of the time. So i got to ask you this. A lot of movement in the U.S. for Terrence Crawford to fight Canelo. Is that a good move, and, and can he beat Canelo at a higher weight? Well, for my money, Terrence Crawford on skill set is in a different ballpark than Canelo but when you move up in weight Canelo's a strong man he's a game man he's a fighting man give him his due but I just see Crawford being out on his own in the boxing skills of the world Canelo's good but look what happened with Dimitri Bivol you know Bivol beat him didn't he so at the end of the day on Crawford for my money his league's ahead of all them guys isn't he in ability you've got to give a man credit he's one of the best our up and coming greats he'll be Terence Crawford. So his skill's so great that yeah. it, it balances out the weight difference between him and Canelo if they fight. Yeah, I think so, yeah, you know, and the, the only thing Canelo can do is get close and let the shots go, but he's not going to get close to him, is he? He's too skillful, his mindset's good, you know, and at the end of the day, he's got everything, that kid, and good luck to him in his career. He'll be one of the up-and-coming greats for now, he will. Right. John, <laughs> as always, I appreciate it. Yeah, I know people are going to take your advice and uh, put money on it as well. I'll put money on it too. Yeah, how much? Uh, yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> Here with John Fury, Marcos Villegas for Fight Thank Up you TV. Very much, buddy. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks.